or you call it close ta. How many kinds of ta are there, brother? Huh? I will write down here. Open. What is this called? Open ta. Huh? And what is this called? Close ta. Huh? Or you can say circle. Okay? In Arabic, this is called ta marbuta. What is it called? Ta marbuta. We will inshallah memorize it slowly, slowly. But for the sake of ease, let us call it open and close. Hmm? Open ta and close ta. Any noun that ends with close ta, 99.9% it is muannas. What is it? Muannas. It is muannas. Family. <coughs> Any ta. And you can make a noun from masculine to muannas most of the time by just adding the ta marbuta close ta. You make it muannas. Huh? Is it clear? We will do a lot of exercises inshallah. Okay. So, sa'atu, if the noun is sa'atu, tell me, is it masculine or feminine? feminine. It is feminine. Why? You saw that little close star there. Yeah, very good. And that is why, the, in answer up to that question, you used here. You use oneness. I should keep the watch so that I can watch the time. You know? Okay. Hada kalamun. Hadihi saatun. We changed. Hadihi. We are going to learn, inshallah. I'm not going to go into that hadihi business now. Later on, we'll go, inshallah. Okay. Ajib, answer. Anil asilatil atiyati. Answer the following question. Brother, we will answer the question from the text of the book. Are you with me? We will answer from the text of the book. Ain al kitabu. Where is the book? What will be your answer? Huwa al al maktabi. Now translate. It is on the desk. Now, I don't want to analyze everything, but once you know the analysis, you know it is Muftada and Khaba. Huh? Are you with me, brother? Right. Muhammad, it is Muftada. Huwa Muftada al al maktabi. Jar Majrur, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Jarun Majrur, fine. Aina Muhammadun. Hua Fil Ghurfati. Now you got to write all these things, eh, brother? You got to write all these things. When you will write, you'll become strong. Huh? Huh? Brother, no pain, no gain. Huh? No pain, no gain, brother. Without, without hard work, no fruits. Okay? So you have to work hard. And I must remind you, we are in intensive course. It means like going to a college for six months. And in six months you work hard. You, are, you master that course and you get a diploma. And we are going to work hard just like that. And inshallah finish the course. Fine. What is the next question? And I'm not checking your homework, brother. You will check yourself. Also, we have a, you know, we have a special books like called Hallo Tamarin, solution to the exercise. You don't have it? You, you can buy. Huh? There are three books for five dollars. Okay? And that has got all the answers to these exercises. Okay, but do not go to that Hallo Tamarin first <laughs> and write it. That will defeat the purpose. Yeah, and you know, yes, brother, father. Do you have English translation? Uh, brother, no. English tra translation, we'll do it in the class and you will write down. Huh? Okay. Now, the point is this, brothers and sisters. After a great deal of hard work on the part of Dr. Abdurrahim huh, and on our part, to request him, to push him, 
to pastor him. Doctor said, we need hello tamarin. We need hello tamarin. We live in Canada. We don't have time. Huh? And even teacher doesn't have time to check each and every homework. So finally, Dr. Abdurrahim wrote the answers to all the tamari. And we have it. Huh? Inshallah, after the class, or tomorrow, inshallah, uh, I will bring and keep it here. And Brother Muhammad, inshallah, you'll give them. Huh? It's, it's essential. It will help you. Three books completes everything. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, Aina Satu. Here. Alas Sariri. Where is the watch? It's on the bed. Huh? Now I'm not analyzing, brother. Now it is understood, you know it. Okay? Aina Yasirun. Huwa fil hammami. You will memorize slowly, slowly. Hammam is also Urdu word. Not Urdu word, Arabic word, but borrowed from uh, Urdu, borrowed it. Yeah, Hamma. Bathroom. Huh? Bathroom. Bathroom. Huh? Okay. Where you take shower, brother. Okay. Shower room, you can say. Okay, brother. Aina Amina tu. Hiya. Amina. Mornas. Hiya. Filmat bakhi. I told you, biryani is being cooked for us. Aina. <laughs> Aminatu, hiya, fil matbakhi. She is in the kitchen. Very good. Now comes question. Look at it, brother. Hamza came in the beginning. Aminatu fil ghurfati? La. Aminatu fil ghurfati? Is Amina in the room? La. Where is she? Hiya, fil matbakhi. It's easy, brother. Hiya, fil she is not in the room. She is in the kitchen. Okay. A Sirun fil matbakhi? La. Huwa fil hammami. Huwa fil hammami. Okay. Are you, brother Farooq, do, do you follow the, yeah, inshallah. Uh, you, it will be better if, if you have any problem, write it in English with a small writing on the book, inshallah. Okay, brother. Huwa fil hammami. Okay. Man fil ghurfati. See, man has come. Who is in the room? Muhammadun fil ghurfati. Huh? Muhammadun fil ghurfati. Muhammad is in the room. Fine, brother and sister. Wa man fil hammami. Wa man fil hammami. And who is in the shower room? Yasirun fil hammami. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, you'll be able to do it. Huh? You'll be able to do it, inshallah. Fine, brothers and sisters. Maza alal maktabi. What is on the? Desk. Maza alal maktabi. What is on the? Desk. What is on the desk, brother? Al kitabu alal maktabi. Al kitabu muftada. Al al maktabi jarun wa majrurun shibbu jumla khabar. Got the idea? Inshallah. Very good. Maza ala sariri. What is on the bed? As saatu. As saatu. Ala sariri. As saatu muftada. Ala sariri jarun wa majrurun shibbu jumla khabar. Got the idea? Now, ikra waktu. Ma dapti awakhir al kalimati. By putting the proper vowel signs at the end of the word. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, remember our knowledge. Why did we take trouble to learn marfu, mansub, majrur? Now you will use it. Huh? You will figure out. When the noun becomes majroor. Huh? When I say dun, it's marfu. When I say dun, it's mansub. When I say din, it's majroor. When I say dun, 
it's marfu when i say dan it's mansub when i say din it's majrur therefore dun dun dan dan din din 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 one more time when i say dun it's marfu when i say dan it's mansub when i say din it's majrur therefore dun dun dan dan din din 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 now start the first word al madra sa tu ha padar why tu and not ti because now it in its natural form are you with me will always be marfu ha now in its natural form is always marfu okay it will become majrur if something comes in preposition come or something else comes in the sentence okay next one brother and sisters fil pati now you know ti why do you do that brother hasan because harf jar ke that made it majrur ha huh? got the idea brother next one brother fil by ti you will be writing it ha huh? properly okay and then brother al bai tu mashallah al ghurfa tu very good al hamma mu fil matbakh khi al matta bu al al matta bi al al kursi yi ha not kursi yu al al kursi yi ya as sari ru al al kita bi on the book fil masji di got the idea brothers and sisters now tell me is it difficult no 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 i want to hear from you that it is not difficult <laughs> inshallah and allah will make it more easy for us brother inshallah okay now you you got the idea ha huh? okay brothers and sisters ikra waqtub read and write so you will read loudly i request you to read loudly at home all the lessons because that way zaban mein rawani aayegi your tongue will get used to pronouncing arabic sentences arabic words because we are not used to this is a, a new thing for us you know okay what is the first sentence brother how will you start the first sentence is rabir at talibu mashallah what jami jamia ti si we cannot make it two no more we know fi has come has to be majrur huh? what is the meaning of it sister the student is in the class in the university jamia tu don't worry if you make a mistake brother huh? don't worry huh? if you make a mistake the world is not going to stop huh? it will still go on huh? okay at talibu mubtada where is the khabar fil jamiati what is fil jamiati jarun wa majrurun shibu jumla khabar got the idea alhamdulillah next one brother ar rajulu fil masjid translate brother the man is in the masjid same way you can analyze it if you want to but you know it brother aina tajiru where is the merchant 
huwa fid dukani he is in the shop mashallah so where is muftada huwa and then fid dukani jar majrur shibu jumla khabar inshallah al qalamu al qalamu ala al maktabi al qalamu ala al maktabi very good brother al qalamu ala al maktabi same way everything same aina zainabu now zainabu is a mu'annas aina zainabu hiya fil ghurfati see can you imagine no vowel signs dr abdurrahim thinks you have become expert no need to put vowel signs but alhamdulillah we can manage it we know when the noun is marfu and when it becomes majrur ha huh? fine brother aina zainabu hiya fil ghurfati so hiya mubtada fil ghurfati khabar shibu jumla khabar jar majrur aina al waraku where is the paper huwa ala al maktabi it is on the desk okay aina al mudarrisu where is the teacher huwa fil fasli he is in the classroom got the idea huwa mubtada where is khabar fil fasli jar majrur shibu jumla khabar ha inshallah inshallah aina yasiru huwa fil mirhadi but the hammam is a shower room and mirhad is a toilet ha huwa fil mirhadi got the idea brother and sisters inshallah this is very beautiful brother ash-shamsu wal qamaru fi as-samai the sun and the moon they are in the sky are in the sky okay but i'm 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 i, I want i'm tempted to give you a heavy dose <laughs> but if you don't understand you you will not worry and i will be explaining it yo know, you know we said wow what is wow ataf wow with harfu ataf harfu atafin ha huh? write down if you want to al waw and last time i wrote brother harfu atfin ha huh? harfu atfin inshallah ha huh? harfu atfin harfu atfin which is a conjunction okay what is the job of harfu ataf it connects two nouns ha huh? it connects two noun ha huh? so if i were to analyze this sentence ashamsu what is ashamsu that i know oh it's mubtada and then and what is waw conjunction conjunction harfu ataf harf ataf you can say uh, by the samad you can say ataf but then what is kamar what shall i tell kamar it is also mubtada ha huh? ha huh? but we call it something else ha huh? this is what the tough thing i am ha huh? we want to write it brothers and sisters ha huh? you will write down ha huh? Now but this is very advanced arabic but because we are in intensive course and because we will be practicing every day inshallah you will understand it al kamaru you will write down this sir huh
Why? What did I write down, brother? Huh? I put this. Ma'atufun. Ma'atufun. Ala shamsi. Sister Salma? Ma'atufun. Ma'atu. This is ta. Ta. Is this from ataf? Ataf ma'atuf. Ma'atufun ala shamsi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ma'atufun ala shamsi. What is the meaning of ma'atufun? Connected. Connected to the shams. You know, wow always connects. So it connected the kamar to the shams. So in other words, brother, if the shams is marfu and wow comes, the next word will also be marfu. Huh? Same thing. That is why a shamsu well, Kamaru. Why Kamaru is Marfu? Because it is connected with Shamsu. Huh? You know? Same thing. We will learn in lot detail later on. I will explain you in detail. So as I said, if you are not 100% sure, do not worry. But I will be explaining you. But you know, since we are analyzing the sentence, and a Shamsu came, Mubtada. Wow, Ataf. Al Kamaru. Ma'atufun ala shams. Connected. Ma'atufun ala shams. And where is the khabar, brother? Fis samai. Fine. Man fil fasli. There's only question mark. Who is in the classroom? Al mudaris fil fasli. But we don't have to say much, you know. Man fil fasli. Brother, we end here. Huh? Inshallah, next thing we'll carry on. Brother, I request you to go through the uh, handouts uh, from the page one onwards uh, and this book. And if you have any question, you will call. Uh, you can ask me tomorrow and we'll go in detail, inshallah. And if there is a time tomorrow, I will start the verbs. Uh, I will start the verbs. And verbs, I will try to make them very interesting for you. I'll put lots of masala. And I'll put some red chilies. Huh? If you like, I'll, I'll put some chutney also in the verbs, you know, to make it delicious for you. <laughs> okay, brothers and sisters. Rabbana, atina fi dunya sanatam wa fil akhirati sanatam wa kina adabun naar. Rabbana, Hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurrata yunin. Waj'alna lil muttaqina imama. Rabbana la tuakhizna in nasina wa akhtana. Rabbana wa la tahmil alayna isran kama hamaltahu ala alladhina min kablina. Rabbana wa la tuhammilna ma la taakata lana bihi. Wa afuanna. واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت سميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت تواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خير إن شاء الله Tomorrow we'll meet around 9.15, inshallah. You'll try to come if possible, inshallah. If you are late due to traffic, don't worry, brothers and sisters. You know? Inshallah. Jazakallah, brother.